In light of last week's series on the child care crisis, I got a chance to catch up with Governor Evers to get his input on the rising problem across our state. Governor Evers responded to Senator Falskowski's comment stating child care counts funding shows no growth in the child care industry. Child care counts is an extraordinarily important thing for our child care providers. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure what data she's using, but the, at the end of the day, if we don't start to invest in, in child care, early childhood uh, programming, uh, we're going we're gonna to have lots of people go out of work. Evers said that will happen in two ways. One, providers will go out of business because they can't charge extraordinary amounts of money and lose all of their families. And two, the people who lose child care providers will stay out of the workforce to take care of their kids. To me, there's just no choice. I mean, this is $15 million. It's, uh, it would go directly to the people that, uh, you know, are are really needing and and you know I, I just think sometimes people don't understand how important early childhood programming is to people. Talking with families and child care providers the critical need has been identified. I can tell you just from my vantage point when I visit places I'll talk to parents and they know exactly how much it costs and what a burden it is on them and if they have to raise rates more uh, they're going to leave and if they, if either they're going to leave the, the workforce or the child care provider is going to leave uh, the business. I think those, both of those two options are not an option. Ever said this is a problem that needs an immediate fix. There are some places in small towns uh, uh, where they have gone out of business already and people, I mean, they're, they're too far away from another city and so it is, uh, it is a really significant issue in the state of Wisconsin. Evers said the money is there to fix issues such as this. The money is there. It's as simple as that. The law was passed. I vetoed part of it so that we can make sure that's getting out to the people in the way that it should. And, uh, and so it's easy. All they have to do is go, go in and, and make the decision. In order for this funding to be sustainable for the child care industry, that would eventually mean raising taxes for taxpayers when the initial funding runs out. I'm anticipating that the, that the government will have to help out child care providers, uh, and, and that's understood. Uh, you know, K through 12 education is, is publicly funded, par partially by the state, partially by locals, same way with higher education. This is nothing different. In fact, it is, you know, it is the the beginning of, a, of, uh, of that journey for a kid, and uh, we just have to make sure we're, we're doing the best we can. Evers said times have changed. This isn't like it was 20 years ago, simple as that. And uh, in Wisconsin, we have a high, em high employment rate in the state of Wisconsin, and our businesses are looking for even more people. And you know, in many cases, businesses are stepping up and helping, helping uh, provide some 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 money for the for, for these projects. But at the end, it, it, yes, there there's going to be some ex expectation that the state play a role in financing this. Regarding the alternative proposals made by the Joint Finance Committee, Evers said there's no long-term help to those things. The idea of making new expectations for the providers is not going to help. What we have proposed, I think, is a reasonable place to, to start, and uh, let's get it done. Reporting from Rhinelander, Shauna Johnson, Newswatch 12.